Hey, what's up everybody? This is Meath24, and today I'm going to take a look at the Captain Falcon Amiibo. Uh, this is going to be the only Amiibo in this video, simply because uh, this one was just picked up by uh, itself. I basically threw a message out to some of my friends of if they happen to come across any of the three uh, Wave 2 Amiibos that I was currently missing, uh, that let me know, and if they want to pick it up, I would happily repay them quickly for uh, the, you know, the trouble of grabbing it. So a friend of mine grabbed this for me, uh, which was really great, and... Uh, if I come across Pit or Little Mac at some point, I'll grab them, but I'm not nearly as uh, invested in getting them as I was for Captain Falcon. Uh, so I'm really glad that uh, this one is now part of my collection, and I figured I'd just do this video by itself because it's going to be a little bit before the way three Meebles get here. So, uh, looking at the box art, again, great box art. I actually like the fact that uh, Captain Falcon, along with a few of the other Meebles I have, uh, the character's face and body is so much bigger on the top there. Uh, there's some of them where they're little less, uh, I don't know, powerfully stated there on the box art, but I like the fact that, you know, Captain Falcon's got the sort of that, I don't know, dark, macho man image there on the box. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, Donkey Kong's box art was really cool, too. That's another one that really stood out to me. Uh, but we have sort of this uh, lightish purple on the background, not quite as uh, bright of a purple as it was for the Zelda box art. Uh, looking at the figure in the box... Again, tons of detail on this guy. Uh, great paint apps overall. I think uh, this and Fox, just as far as the paint applications and the variety of uh, colors go, might be my two favorites just visually to look at um, because there's so much going on. Coincidentally, they both have little uh, holsters for pistols on their belts. Pop them out of the box here. I'll also show off the back here of uh, the box a second. Uh, same sort of deal as with all the other figures. Scan them in. Uh, there's Captain Falcon fighting Link, doing his Falcon kick pose there. That's all good. <coughs> and here's a closer look at the actual figure. Um, I really like the way the face is handled on this. Obviously, with the sort of eyes underneath the visor there, it's a lot easier to pull off than, say, trying to paint on the actual face of someone like Link or... Uh, Marth, I mentioned, kind of had a little bit of a goofy-looking face out of the box, on mine at least. Uh, but the gold and sort of that brass color along his boots look great, uh, as does sort of that metallic white or creamy white there on the kneecap and the top of the shoe there. Uh, the more flat coat color for the gloves and the different tones there is also excellent, and this little Falcon logo on his uh, the back of his jacket there. I also like the fact that we have these over, uh, overlapping belts there, and they have different textures going on there as well. It's, it's great. Um, I mentioned before that I'm not really a big fan of these stand pieces going through the figures, but here I don't mind it so much because I think it's just going to fall over if that wasn't there. Um, this peg for the back foot uh, does stick up a little bit there, and I, I can't help but wonder if that's sort of just gen general strain on the figure if you know this stick wasn't here. Um, but I'd prefer it to be clear, as I've I mentioned in a few of the previous videos I've done for these guys. Uh, but yeah, like his scarf, the little symbol on top of his helmet, uh, the shoulder pad and everything, it just looks great overall. Um, I think with the Wave 2 Amiibos, for the most part, they uh, they stepped up their game on in terms of the uh, paint apps and the uh, colors and all that. Which is not to say that the Wave 1 Amiibos were bad by any means, but there's something... I don't know, just to stand out with this figure with all the different types of paints and the colors and the coating for them that just makes it look exceptional, I think, as far as all the Amiibos that we have so far goes. So hopefully Wave 3 will keep with that routine uh, based on the promotional art that I've seen of Mega Man and uh, Ike and Sheik and all that. They look really great, so I'm hoping that kind of keeps on that streak. And that's pretty much it for this video. So with that, I will see you guys next time.